Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on ratios and rates. All right. In recent years, there was approximately 1.45 million violent crimes in the U.S. Given that the U.S. has a population that year of roughly 305 million people, find the rate per 100,000. That's the violent crime rate. Round to the nearest whole number. Okay, so there's a lot of things going on in this problem. First of all, it says find the violent crime rate. Well, rate, this kind of thing just kind of means like percent, so part over whole. So we're gonna start off simply by doing 1,450,000 over 305 million. And when we do this in the calculator, we get 0 0.004754. Now, that is an ugly number. And if somebody told you that that's the crime rate in the US, it, it doesn't really have meaning. It's such a tiny number. I mean, even if we made it like multiplied by 100, 0.47 or point, even 0.5%, it, it doesn't really have meaning to us because it's such a small number. And what does 0.5% mean? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this per 1,000. So that means we're gonna take it out of a smaller sample size of people. We're gonna multiply this by 1,000, 100,000. And what we're end up, going to end up with is 475.4. And it says near, round to the nearest whole number because there's no such thing as a part of a person. We don't have 0.4 of a person out there. And what ends up happening is the violent crime rate in the US, let's say, is 475 people per 100,000 people. Now, this has a lot more meaning to me because I know how many people are in my community. And I can say, okay, well, if it's you know, 475 per every 100,000, and there's just over 200, and just over 200,000 in my community. Well, that's almost a thousand violent crimes in my community. Well, that has huge impact on me. I know what that means to me as a person, to a community, because these are real numbers. These are tangible numbers. 0 0.004754, that doesn't really have a lot of meaning to me. 475 per 100,000. I understand that number. So that's why you see this type of notation a lot when you see statistics about populations in America. When you talk about millions of people, we need to take a smaller sample size so that these numbers are easier to understand. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.